So being a musician is really fun and it has its perks, but it's not all peaches and cream and parties every night and living like a rock star. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you 10 pros and cons of being a professional musician. Hey, what's good? And welcome to Music Space, where we help working musicians just like you learn how to quickly and easily make a living with your craft. So if you're new here to the channel, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when new videos are uploaded. So as I mentioned, being a musician is really fun. It has its perks and you know, it's really fun and we get to do a lot of things, but there are a lot of misconceptions about being a musician as well. And you know, it's a lot of these conceptions that we live these partying lifestyles and we're, you know, living a dream life and all of this kind of stuff. When the truth is, it's really a lot of hard work. You know, people either think we're like really lazy and we live these frivolous lifestyles with a lot of drugs and sex, or it's, you know, some sort of other extreme where we're just, you know, working all the time and we're pouring so much energy into what we do, or, you know, we're just, we're supposed to be famous and we're supposed to be signed to record labels and we're supposed to be making lots of money and all of that kind of stuff. And the truth is that neither of those extremes are really true. Where musicians really fall or most of us really fall is somewhere in the middle. So maybe you're wondering what it's like to be a musician and what it's like to live our lifestyle and the things that we do from day to day and just some pluses and negatives of the things that we do as musicians. Well, let's jump into five pros and five cons of being a professional musician. Now, right before we jump into those five pros and cons, I want to let you know about my free ebook that you can download right now. This free ebook will give you 10 strategies that you can start using today to make more money as a musician. And again, it's completely free and the download link is in the description of this video. Okay, so pro number one is that people find us interesting and attractive. So there's sort of this phenomenon out there that people who sing or play an instrument are considered more attractive than other people of equal status. So all things considered equal, you find a person attractive or interesting, you know, they make the same amounts of money and all of this kind of stuff. And all of these things are equal, but if one plays an instrument or sings, that person is generally considered more attractive or interesting than the other person. Now that's really cool and beneficial for the obvious reasons of things like attracting a mate and things like that. But it's also beneficial in terms of getting like first dibs at opportunities and things that may come our way because people who are seen as more interesting or more attractive are generally the people who get more opportunities. Okay, so pro number two is we get to do what it is that we love. Now this is one of the biggest points of envy for musicians from other people. People tend to envy the fact that we get to do what we love and what we are passionate about. And not only do we get to do what it is that we love and what we're passionate about, we get paid for doing what we love and what we're passionate about. So there's a lot of envy that comes from other people from doing that. And it is very fulfilling to, you know, to be able to do that. Now, another pro of being a musician is that we get to travel a lot. We get to travel very easily and we get a chance to play in places and venues all over the world. We get to go to places that we probably would have never gone to otherwise and see things that we never would have seen otherwise. So there's lots of road trips and car rides and bus rides and, you know, flights and, you know, taxi and Ubers and all of this kind of stuff with musicians because we get to travel and do what it is that we love to do. So that's really cool. Now, another pro of being a musician is that we get to sleep in on most days. Now, this is something that, you know, sounds like something that's really frivolous and makes us lazy or whatever the case may be, but this is something that's really important. You know, deprivation of sleep in the US and over the world is at its high. You know, people are deprived of sleep and that's causing other health issues and things like that. So one of the benefits that we get a chance to do as musicians is we get to sleep a little bit longer than most people because we don't have to get up and go to, you know, nine to five jobs and things like that. So we get to sleep in and possibly get more sleep and, you know, get more sleep than the average person. So we tend to get our eight hours. Now let's jump into the cons of being a musician because there definitely are some cons. But right before we jump into that, I wanna know from you, what are some pros and cons that you know of of being a musician? Jump down in the comment section and let me know. So the first con of being a musician is that there's less security and more financial risk. 
Now, what I mean by this is that the income for musicians is very, you know, fickle. It's seasonal. You know, there are seasons that we go through where, you know, things are great. Lots of gigs are coming in. You're making lots of money. And then there are some dry seasons as well where you're like not really bringing in anything. So you don't have as much security as you would have at like a nine to five job to where, you know, your paycheck is pretty much secured, you know, provided you don't get fired or something like that. But, you know, your paycheck and the income that you have is pretty secure from, you know, month to month and year to year. And also because we don't work a nine to five job, we don't have benefits of things like health insurance that comes through a job or a retirement plan. So there's definitely a lot less security and financial risk with being a musician. Now, another con of being a musician is that most of us won't become famous. And this can be a hard pill to swallow because a lot of us start out being musicians with these dreams of, you know, becoming famous and playing with a band and touring the world and going around the world and making millions of dollars and being signed to record labels and things like that. And the truth is that the majority of us will probably not get to that status, not because we're not good or not because we're not worthy of being there or something like that, but just because of the way the system is set up, most musicians won't get to that point. It's kind of like sports players. You know, there are plenty of basketball players that are great, but most of them won't get to, you know, like a Michael Jordan status or anything like that. So there is definitely that when it comes to being a musician. And another con is that it's really, really easy to become unhealthy. So because what we do really does require a lot of time and effort and focused effort and energy, it's really difficult for us to live, you know, really healthy lifestyles. We have to practice a lot. We have to prepare a lot. We have to travel a lot. And we all know how difficult it can be when you're on the road to stay healthy. That's something that's really difficult to do. And our focus and our sort of mental capacity has to be so much centered on being good and being good at what we do. It makes it really difficult to, you know, use some of that same mental capacity for doing things like being healthy. Now, another con is that being a musician is still not considered a real job. And this is something that I've personally dealt with a lot over my music career. You know, I think it comes from a lot of those stereotypes of musicians in the 70s and 80s where, you know, basically there was like this hippie movement, you know, of the 60s that kind of went over into the 70s and 80s where, you know, musicians were just kind of like these, you know, out of the box people and, you know, who live these frivolous lifestyles and all of this kind of stuff. And they weren't really doing anything that contributed to society as a whole or, you know, making a lot of money or anything like that. So with that came the stereotype of music work not really being a real job. You know, when you told somebody you were a musician in those days, the first thing that came to mind for them was just like drugs and sex and women and, you know, no money making. Now, another con of being a musician is that it's really difficult to maintain a family and relationships. There are many of us musicians who have lost our families and lost relationships, you know, because of the inconsistency. And I don't mean us being inconsistent people necessarily. I mean, just the inconsistency of the industry as a whole. So with a lot of the things that I named already, like the financial risk and the inconsistency with, you know, incoming finances or the inconsistency of just being home on a regular basis and not having to travel, all of those things and other things make it really difficult to maintain families and relationships. And it doesn't even have to be like a really big thing. Like you don't have to be gone like 150 days out of the year. But if you're a musician who works regularly and, you know, you come home, you know, on the weekends at night at, you know, three or four o'clock in the morning and you're averaging those kind of things. And then other days you're sleeping in and all of this kind of stuff. It creates this, you know, picture of you being lazy. Now, if you add a jealous spouse or something like that to the mix of that, it makes it really difficult to maintain a relationship like that because, you know, those kind of things have always had those stereotypes and perceptions of being, you know, bad in some way. If you're coming home at two or three o'clock in the morning, that's somehow bad. But it's kind of what the, you know, the industry of music work is about. So those are some pros and cons of being a professional musician. Listen, thank you for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell and I'll see you in the next video.